Welcome to The Good Life, the City of Bryan's monthly reminder of the great things happening in Bryan. In July of 2020, a new destination marketing organization, Destination Bryan, was formed. In the two years since, we've seen a return of tourism, and it's due in part to the legends who call Bryan home. the Aston Mansion, downtown Bryan, and we are celebrating legends. Uh, Destination Bryan has put together a great program to recognize individuals and businesses that have contributed significantly and to Bryan, uh, whether it be recent past or longer past. And so this is a, a tremendous opportunity to uh, recognize some, some outstanding individuals and businesses. The legend stories are really just about the people. When you come into Bryan, you're going to be able to walk into a business and meet that business owner. We are a local community that is here about its residents. And as we built our brand, we understood and continued to hear that it was about the people that made this place unique. And so that, those are kind of the legends as far as how we're, we're telling those stories and how we continue to get people intrigued and emotionally invested and inspired to visit. To be a legend in, in Bryan is to really celebrate diversity in history. And so if you look at the seven uh, that we're recognizing this evening, you'll see that it's a very diverse group, um, but there's some history and then there's some briefer history as, as you might want to call it. I think tonight is just one example of how we embrace the diversity and the, the rich culture that we have here in Bryan. So when we built Destination Bryan, we built it on the backs of partnerships. It was about all of these entities that we have in Bryan and the surrounding areas that make us a unique place. And so the first thing we strove to do was set out to build these partnerships and build a foundation of trust with them so that we can be advocates for each other. And so we continue to highlight those stories and give them their own due, which wasn't happening in the past. And so we're excited about continuing to tell those stories. I think uh, most importantly is our incredible staff. We have staff that love what we do, love this community and love Brian and continue to want to promote it on a day-to-day -day basis and really highlight the things that we love about it to our outside community as well. The Brighton City Council will soon appoint community members to the city's volunteer boards and commissions. If you want to make an impact in your community and help make Brighton a great place to live, we encourage you to apply. We're looking for new people and new voices to represent Brighton. No experience is required. To submit your application, go to onboard.briantx.gov and click apply. Grab your grass skirts and flower lays for senior luau dance. Seniors aged 55 and over can enjoy an evening with live entertainment, food, door prizes, and a cash bar. Mark your calendar and join us at the Brazos Center on August 18th from 6 to 9.30 p.m. Tickets are $5 and available in advance at the Bryan Aquatic Center or Parks and Recreation offices. Get ramped up for the school year with the Back to School Skate Jam on August 12th. Bring your skateboard or BMX bike and show off your skills. This free event will have music, raffle prizes, free pizza and drinks. Come by Williamson Skate Park between 6.30 and 9. No registration is required. Join us at the Bryan Aquatic Center on August 14th for Float into Fall. This event will conclude our summer season and help usher in the new school year. Cost of entry is normal admission price and prizes and games will be available. Forget about traffic and the hassle of finding parking on Texas A&M football game days. Park for free and ride the game day shuttle from downtown Bryan to campus. The shuttle runs three hours pregame and one hour postgame. Visit gameday.bryantx.gov for more information. <laughs> 